Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Uh, yeah, so this is actually the lesson 46 in my YouTube playlist, Investing 101, and today we're going to talk about book, book value. Uh, so if you notice that recently I've been talking more about uh, investing in equities, and this is actually one of the quite important uh, type of concepts that investors need to know. Okay, so uh, what is book value? Uh, if you study accounting, right, you would know this, but uh, let's just touch on this. Okay, so uh, a book value is actually a company's carrying value on its balance sheet. What does this mean, right? It means that like total tangible assets minus total liabilities. Okay, so what are intangible assets? So intangible assets are like patterns and goodwill. Okay, uh, what is goodwill? So like for example, if let's say the Coca Cola's book value is let's say I don't know how much is it. Maybe it's ten, uh, five billion. Okay, but the brand Coca Cola itself, right, has some good goodwill. That means that it has some uh, value people hear the name Coca Cola, there is some goodwill attached to it, which means that people associate with this brand. Okay, so these are intangible assets, and patterns are also intangible assets. So, all the tangible assets, which is like maybe the factory, uh, the machinery, uh, the vehicles that are under the balance sheet, right? Uh, these are tangible assets. So, minus total liabilities are like maybe the outstanding loans from the, uh, the bank, uh, these are the total liability. So the total tangible assets minus total liabilities uh, make up the book value. Uh, essentially, is if the company was liquidated at that point, uh, what would the shareholders receive? Okay, so the book value is basically what the shareholders would receive if the company was liquidated. So in some, uh, I mean, in some literature and some, uh, some, you know, some economies or some websites, they actually, uh say net book value or net asset value which is actually the same thing okay so if let's say we are looking at uh like investing in a certain stock right uh, we can actually compare the market value uh to the book value uh and then we can actually tell whether the stock is actually under or overpriced okay uh, generally i guess market value tends to be higher than the book value so we can actually make comparison so if let's say we're uh, looking at maybe investing in technology stocks then we can see uh, how much of a premium is the market value above the book value of let's say Apple Inc. Okay, and then compared to like maybe uh, Google, which is Alphabet. Okay, so we can we can compare and we can see which one is actually which one has a higher premium. Then we decide whether we want to pay the higher premium or we would like to go for the one that is closer to the actual book value, uh, as in compared to the market value. Yeah, so uh that's all for me for this uh this uh, lesson and I'll see you at the next video. Okay, so see you guys